Hi, Steve Kazemmer here, back in the garage. This is my double drop system. My last video, I went through all the details of how I built the system, different details of the different components. I figured I'd do a follow-up video of how to how I use it, how I set it up, and how I take pictures, and then go through a little bit of post-processing so you can see how I get the results I get. So, first one I'm setting up, I always use straight water in the reservoir here. It's just easier to clean up when you're going through trials and, and going through a lot of different liquid just to get the timing right. Um, just makes it a little bit easier. Once you have everything set up, you're ready to take the pictures, then you can replace this with, you know, the little bit thickened uh, liquid or if you want the food coloring, that sort of thing. You do that at that point. Uh, so first, let's start with setting up the camera and the flashes to get the rough positions. Now we've got the rough position of the camera and the flashes. Now I need to hook up the wires. One, one wire each for the flashes, one for the camera, and of course a wire for our double drop. So now set the flashes on manual mode, set the camera up with the right ISO and get it into bulb mode, get the focus roughly right. We'll adjust the focus once we're ready to take the final pictures. And then from that point, we'll want to set up the, the backdrop, use the foam cores or whatever colors, set up the backdrop however we would like to see it. In setting up the camera here, I just noticed my sensor has a little bit of dust on it. I think it's going to ruin the picture. So. Quick break, gotta go clean my sensor. Yuck. Here we are. I'm back. That's before and after. Much better. All right. So now I've got my rough setup that I'm after. Sort of set up. Kind of want the RGB thing going on. Ignore the flickering. That's just my ugly fluorescent garage lights. So now what I'm going to do is try to get the rough timing. I want to put some water in the wine glass there to the rough level that I want to have it in the end because of course how full the wine glass is will change the timing of the drops. So we'll get that pretty close and then, uh, then we'll try to do some more fine tuning. So start by filling up the wine glass here. Again just straight water to start with. A lot easier to clean up. And what I'll do is I'll do a few trial runs with just a single drop. So I'll adjust the timing from when we release the dot to when the camera and the flashes take the picture until I can start seeing the drop just above the water. Then what I'll do is I'll tweak the timing just a little bit more, a little bit more until I see the crown and then a little bit more and I'll start to see the Worthington jet. And then I optimize that timing to get the tallest, the peak of the Worthington jet. At that point, we can start introducing the second drop and adjust the timing and the size of the second drop to get the result we're after. So now I've got the drop right in the middle of the wine glass and I think I got my background fairly lined up. You can see in the image here. Not totally happy with the position of my flashes. 
So I'm going to try and line them up so I'm illuminating the background as opposed to illuminating the wine glass itself. So now I'm a little bit happier with the illumination of the background, but you can see from the picture, I'm seeing the edges of the foam core in the background way too much and getting shadows back there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an X-Acto knife, cut these strips, and tape them so the right edge to edge so I can get rid of that shadow. Then we can finally move on to the timing of the drops. So we'll put our new background in here, try a few more test shots, see if we get rid of those shadows, make a few more adjustments, see how far we can get. Reasonably happy the way I have things lined up. Shadows are gone from the background, colors are coming through. I may still need to adjust the uh, flashes a little bit, maybe put a diffuser on each of them, but we'll get to that a little bit later, I think. So for now, what I'll do is I think uh, I'll fill up the water a little bit closer to the top and then see if I can get the timing of the second drop down and then we'll start getting ready for the final shots. got a capture here that I'm quite happy with. That's just pure water, which I'm kind of liking. It's kind of clear and it uh, reflects the background and the colors that I'm after quite nicely. If I put any uh, thickener in there, it'll kind of cloud the water. So it might not, might not be advantageous uh, in the picture that I'm going for now. So uh, what I might do is try to zoom in a little bit closer so the splash is a bit bigger on the screen. Uh, I may need to put an extension tube in my lens so I can get the image a little bit bigger on my sensor. So I can get it a little bit bigger on the screen. Let's give it a try. extension tube on there. Move the camera a little bit closer. It's, uh, I like the size of it on the screen, but everything's just a little bit dark. Of course, because I put the extension tube on there, you lose a little bit of light. I'll have to turn up the flashes to, to compensate. And then I think we're pretty good. What I'll do, is once I've adjusted the flashes, I'll turn off the room lights and take three, four, or five, maybe 60 shots, pick the best one, and then we're good to go. Keepers here. Whoa. So now let's take it up into Lightroom, Photoshop, see what the final result. <laughs> just reviewed them, and some of them are just a little bit off center. So before I tear everything down, I adjust the things a little bit and we'll take a few more.
right, so here we are, out of the garage, into the computer room. Uh, as you can see, I've got the images uploaded from the camera into Lightroom, and we'll take a look. Here, let me get rid of my ugly mug here. And you can see my screen in Lightroom. Uh, here's all the sort of the test shots we had, um, lining up the, the mug, getting focus, the wine glass, I should say. And this is the shot I took here, and I noticed this ugly black spot here. That wasn't a black spot on the background. It was an ugly spot on my sensor. I don't know how I got this, this dust marks on here. So I went off and cleaned it, and then this is the end result. You know, the brightness isn't quite there, so we'll brighten it up. You can see there's nothing very clear. Nothing to see here. Sensor's much better. If I go back to the original here, what you can do inside Lightroom can increase the contrast and crank up the clarity. You can start to see these are marks on your or dust on your sensor, so the the darkest in focus pieces. You'll start to see. I don't know how well this comes from the video, but there's bigger sort of gray circles going on here. Those are likely dust on your uh, lens. So I went went away, cleaned the sensor, cleaned the lens. This was the result. Uh, let's see, I can try to do the same treatment here. Increase the contrast, crank up the clarity. You can see there's a couple little marks on here. Uh, whether those are on the sensor or on my lens, I'm not sure, but they're pretty faint. Really have to crank up the clarity to see them here. So I think uh, we're in much better shape. All right, so at this point we have a clean sensor. See a bunch more shots here. You can see these ones here where the I had the flashes in front of the uh, wine glass. You can see all the reflections in the background. I didn't like that so much. Uh, move along, get a little better. Here I think I had the flashes in behind the wine glass, but still had these ugly shadows from the background. Uh, zoom in a little bit more. I did like how the red and green was coming through in the uh, in the splash here. So move ahead, a few more test shots, setting up. Let's go. A few more test shots. Here we go. Let's see. All right. This is one of the first ones where I had properly cut the background and taped it together. You can see much sharper uh, lines here. Background fairly smooth. The lights need a little bit of adjusting. Go along, go along. Adjusting the timing, getting the tall Worthington jet. And then we start to get our first, uh, first couple double drops here. You can see here the, the timing was a little bit late. Adjust it. Here we have a nice for that loads to clarify. I've got a nice clean double drop shot there. Nice umbrella. I really like how the background colors refracted through the, the water here. I think at that point I decided to zoom in a little bit more so I can get a little bit better shot, a little bit closer, a little bit bigger on the sensor. And we start to get some nice some nice shots here. And I think that was a little bit bright, so I adjusted, adjusted the flashes a bit. And then along here is our last, last sequence of pictures. Nice flat one there. Loading. Everybody needs a faster computer, right? So these are all straight out of camera. These are the raw files. I haven't adjusted anything yet at this point. I didn't notice until afterwards all these little uh, air bubbles and uh, drops, I guess. I guess air bubbles really on the side of the glass. I didn't notice that in camera. So of course now I can go through and click on each one of them and clean them up. That's going to be a lot of work. But what I actually did is I went back into the garage. Let's see here if I can uh, scroll along here. I went back into the garage. That was the last picture I took with the double splash and then shortly afterwards I went back and just took a nice clean shot, cleaned all the bubbles off, missed a few over here. And uh, so I can use this, use Photoshop to replace that in there and get rid of all those uh, 
nasty little bumps. What I will show you here, that I've done a partial cleaning of this image. Look at my uh, spot remover. Here's all the spots I've removed. Still got a few to remove in the corner here. So do that now and then we'll have a nice clean image to start with.
Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I know there's a bit of audio problems, sorry about that. Still on a little bit of a learning curve. We'll try to do better next time. Uh, if you made it to the end of the video, maybe you found something that's interesting, hit subscribe, hit the bell, then you'll get notification of any future videos I post. I'm in the Facebooks, I'm around the Instagrams. You can check out my webpage. We'll see you next time in the garage. Thanks for coming by.